Hello, children. Sir Topham Hatt, the Fat Controller here. As a distinguished gentleman of Soda Railways, I receive many questions from young Thomas fans around the world. And as a special treat for Thomas Club members, I have with me a group of young people by the name of Chloe, Emily, Jonathan and Ben, who have agreed to ask me some questions about Thomas, my family of engines and, of course, my good self. I hope you'll find my replies really useful. But first of all, here's a song about my good self. His name's Sir Topham Hatt Some people say he's a little stout Rather rotund, really quite round But he doesn't see it like that He considers he's a gentleman of merit With a railway exquisitely fine But his main aim is to see that his trains are nice On time Sir Tom, Sir Topham Hatt Wasn't that splendid? Now, with the signal green and the guard blowing his whistle, <coughs> off we go. So, who's going to ask me the first question? Hello, I'm Jonathan. Why are you called the Fat Controller? Well, it was a name given to me by the drivers at Soda Railways. The controller part refers to my looking after all railway matters, from Thomas and Percy to signalmen and stations. And as for the fat part, well, this can only refer to my rather large belly. Is that a second question, Jonathan? Yes. Have you ever considered going on a diet? Good heavens, no. <laughs> uh, Lady Hat occasionally taps me on the tummy and suggests I go on a diet of fresh green salads and other healthy foods. Uh, but I'll let you into a secret if you promise not to tell. Whenever my good wife thinks I'm dieting, uh, I always visit Mrs Kindly to fill my tummy up with her scrumptious refreshments. A young boy from New Zealand also suggested via email that I go on a diet of rice and fish for at least two years, but I soon put him in his place. After all, Soda Railways already has one thin controller, and, and I don't think Thomas and the other engines would recognise me if I wasn't fat. Do you have any children? Oh, yes, and grandchildren too. In fact, two of my grandchildren asked me to bring Toby and Henrietta to Soda Railways when their old line was closed down. Do you have another question for me? How did you become the boss of Thomas and all the other engines? 
Oh, yes, sir. Through hard work and some good luck. When I was a boy, I left school when I was 14 and joined Swindon Engineering Works as an apprentice. After a couple of years there, learning all there is to know about steam engines, I came back to the island of Sodor and worked as an engineer for one of the railway companies. In time, my good work was noticed and I eventually became big boss at a company called the North Western Railway. And when all the railways on the island joined together to become Sodor Railways, I was made a sir... <laughs> of which I'm very proud, and asked to look after Thomas and all the other engines. Naturally, I, I was delighted to accept the job and have remained there to this day. So, who's got the next question? Hello, my name's Chloe. Has Thomas always worked at Sodor Railways? Well, uh, do you know, I, I must be getting old because I honestly can't remember. I think Thomas was originally built on the mainland but has only worked on Sodor. However, I have so many engines to look after, I, I, I cannot truthfully remember every little detail about them. Well, at this point, I think you'll find it'll be very useful to turn the tape over. So, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>